what up guys setting up a quick little hyperlapse here I got to do a bunch of house cleaning I was supposed to be working on a video but wife gave me some chores to do so I'm gonna set up a hyperlapse on the nano slider on the shark nano slider and kind of just play play while I'm working so let's go all right I get this thing here parallel once that's set it's kind of level here make sure it's nice and level and confirm that double tap and I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just kind of doing like a reveal hyperlapse coming from out the side revealing behind the drawer here so this will probably be my starter and let's go ahead and take the phone off all right so what I'm gonna do here we're gonna go into pro mode so I have full and complete control of my settings here again if you guys want to learn how to do this I do have a guide available that shows you how to do this and I'm gonna actually turn that off I'm gonna go ahead and set my white balance kind of like 5400 I think I might go 56 I'm gonna go 5600 manual I'm gonna set my focus to right there in the middle where the to see the green lines here pointing on the uh, vacuum there and then uh, my ISO is gonna be as low as possible my shutter speed I want to try to get a two second shutter speed a one second shutter speed would be great because the reason why I want to go this so I can get motion blur now of course doing this I need an ND filter so I'm gonna go ahead and slap on the ND filter here all right that's what the ND filter on now so this is good this is gonna work out nice let me see if I can crank it up a little bit uh, again my main focal area is going to be right here yeah this is a little bit blown out here but we're not focusing here our main focal area is there so I want to make sure my my exposure is perfect right there it's a little dark open it up just a little bit all right boom so again, we're gonna do a one second. Let me see if I can even push it to two seconds. Okay. And now what's most important here is you gotta take a test shot. All right, and then the test shot will tell you how bright it is. Now see, it's still way too bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. We need to go darker. We need to go more on the ND. Now let's try this. All right, it's looking better. See if we can go a little bit more on the ND. I'll be right there. All right, I like that. That's even, that's great. That's great. And it is like uh, noon right now. So if anything, the sun is already at its highest point um, on this side of the house. So I don't have to worry about it getting brighter. Okay, that's cool. I got all my manual settings set. Uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. We got all everything in full manual mode. See that motion blur? We're gonna have that as I move around. It's gonna be awesome. All right now, what I'm gonna do here is I don't even know how much space I have available. Okay, I have uh, nine gigs available. That's enough. Okay, because I'm gonna take 300 shots. It's gonna be a lot, right? So that's good. Now, what I'm gonna do here is jump into my app to set this up. Intervalometer app. Okay, I want to use my stock camera. Alrighty, so we got this set. Now let's get the movement here. We're going to be sliding from behind here. And we're going to be sliding and then we're going to pivot like this, right? So this is going to be my B position. And back to my A. That's going to be my A position. Uh, I forgot my settings, I think. And it shouldn't be hard to miss. It should be. There they are. All right, so what I just found out also you can do, if you just tap and hold and then just drag my finger down. And I'm just gonna drag, drag, drag. Oh, stop. Okay, there we go. I can tell the numbers had changed a little bit as I was watching the screen flicker by. I, that's all of them. Oh, it's not too bad. It was like 360, so it really went over 64 shots. Go ahead and hit open. Let it import those photos. And what I'm going to do is select resolution, 4K. That option is only on the premium version. You can only do 720. You can only do the lowest settings. Uh, 24 FPS, frame rate, uh, 4K, and quality max, aspect ratio, right? And I'm just going to go preview right now. Preview only does, I think, uh, like 120 frames, just to check. 
Moment of truth. Man, it was still, I probably probably could have pushed it a little bit even darker. Still a little bit slightly overexposed. But hey, that's all part of learning, right? 4K, so let's go back 4K, uh, 24 SPF, max. Let me go to edit, brightness. Let's see if we can just like bring that down just a little bit. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna really mess with anything else. Hit done. Okay, 4K, 24, max. And then go ahead and hit rendered video. I'm gonna stop it so I can have all, all the CPU for rendering. Alright, that came out pretty decent. Uh, like it was slightly overexposed still. I guess you know as the day got brighter. So well, it's only been like in about 40 minutes, roughly 30 minutes. But anyways, uh what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna do it again, because I gotta do another part of uh, wiping. But I'm gonna set the ND a little bit more harder and get it a little bit more darker so it's not as overexposed. And um I think that's pretty much the only I'm gonna probably mess with a different setting here on the slider to see if I can change up something. But other than that, I'm gonna keep all the same settings. I'll just make it a little bit darker and reset the slider and do it again. So here we go. I'm going to quickly show you how we're going to delete 360 photos really fast, right? So basically what I'm going to do here is click, hold, and then just drag my finger down. Literally drag my finger down, drag, don't lift your finger. Super easy. This is how you can delete 300 plus photos in a couple of seconds and hit delete. Cover up your game